Hello and welcome to this early access map tour of American Falls by Lancy Boy. Massive thanks to Lancy Boy for allowing me access to the map. So first off, let's have a check out of the blurb and what American Falls is all about. Welcome to American Falls. Unfortunately, you have a big job on your hands. The previous owner here once owned a farm in Illinois. It was called Stone Valley. He came to me looking for work and an American Falls needed a farmer. He told me he'd had enough of farming and decided it was time for a break. So I gave him a chance and he was doing a fantastic job running the area of American Falls. The businesses loved working with him and the local residents helped him out where they could. Then all of a sudden he was gone. He sold all the land, sold all the equipment that belonged to the American Falls community and took off with all the money. Luckily, he didn't sell the trailer that he once lived in. Your information was forwarded to me and I was informed that you took over Stone Valley and managed to get that farm working again and got it to where it should have been. The reason why I brought you here is because I would like you to take over the role of farmer in American Falls. Unfortunately, there is little money in the pot, just enough to get you going, but no equipment and you'll have to do local contracts to slowly regain the trust of the community, buy new farm and equipment and eventually the land back. Once again, are you up for the challenge of American Falls? Can you regain the trust of American Falls? That's pretty deep. Are you up for the challenge? Well, let's also see what American Falls has to offer. It says that the map and all fields are fictional. An hydros is built into the map, which works with precision farming. It is mud system ready on PC. There are four new crop types, alfalfa, rye, flax and clover has a start from scratch and farm manager mode that are built in so you can still work that way if you wish. 12 custom farm placeables have been built into the to the map as mods and we'll look at that as we go around. There are eight cell points currently. Propane is built into the map. We have one bale selling point, log selling point, alfalfa silage clamps have been added in. Manure spawns at the cow farm. We've got Oxygen David's custom lighting, brand new designed models by Lancy Boy, AI Helper, 49 fields, uh, two extra productions have been added. There have been increased height types, so this is Maze Plus compatible with the added crops as well. It's got seasonal visuals, visuals, sorry. There are collectibles on the map. You need to purchase all the farm and animal plots before the animals spawn so not all of them at once but if you want to do sheep you need to buy the sheep plot uh, before any of the buildings or anything is accessible but the map does have uh, required mods being the american fermenting silos by vertex designs and the pickup header pack the crossplay version by bc bueller farms the map is swath ready it is built in so you just need the swather and the pickup header and you are good to go. So with all that, let's take a look at the map itself. So here it is, American Falls. Absolutely beautiful. I've really enjoyed looking around this map. I've enjoyed testing it for the last uh, few days to say. I'm not quite sure when this will come out, but let's say a few days. So we start off here. We have the farmhouse and next to us we'll just check out some uh, some of the productions of the site so we've got the spinnery up here we have a, a small petrol tank and a water tank and this is a farm lot for machinery arable farming that type of thing up here then over here we've got our sawmill with a wood chip sale then we have a, another farm up this way ignore that that's where i've set some stuff up then we've got the gas station here this is the sheep farm, by the way, and we'll look at that. Uh, then over here we have a Better Earth Products. That is a purchase point. Uh, we have the Four Grains Garden Center, uh, Biomethane Station, and we've got the Electric Charge Station and, and Hydros Sale Point there as well. And over on this side, this is the pig farm area. Uh, this also has ferment and silo and a petrol tank. And down here we've got bale cell station, the American crop cell station, the animal dealer, the water tank, 
and fermenting silo here. And this is the cow farm, the dairy farm. And you'll need to buy that to uh, open up and unlock all that. So then down here we have an Idros, uh, the Harris Garage, Horse Cloven Warehouse, We Buy Anything Sale Point, the Mr. Farquhar Login Service, Horse Grain, Seed Production. We've got the actual vehicle shop down here. We've got propane um, purchase here, um, agro grain, carpentry, dairy and Johnson's Market. Now, if we buy up farm areas, things we need to uh, have a real good look, then you'll be able to see what pops up then as well. As you see, the farms, if you want to buy them, they aren't cheap. 250 grand, that's the pig farm. The dairy farm, uh, just under 300 grand. Let's have a look. The sheep was, if we could sell it, it will tell us what we'll get. Oh, we can't. But that was about 250 grand as well, I believe. Production spots here, so we'll buy that up so we can see them. And we'll buy that up because there is a bit there with that as well. So that is what all the farm areas. That's all the animals will now be um active. So now you'll be able to see we've got sheep and we have pigs, and these are all custom and cows here. So there's plenty going on. It's uh, there's a lot here. When when we get looking, you'll you'll see that it's it's very detailed. There's there's a lot here. It's a very very pretty map. The field prices themselves, you know, sixty six is probably one of your more expensive. Or fifty will be your largest plot. One point four million, sixty six, uh, one point four, and then we've got a smaller plot, say fifty three. I think it's the cheapest, seventy five grand. Uh, what we got here for wood 74 so there are smaller areas 33 38 grand uh, to build up this does have a, a start from scratch narrative if you wish to play that way obviously you can come in pop your money in like i have buy whatever bit of farm you want whatever bit of land you want and go from there it is completely optional and like we said we do have additional crop types so we've got our standard crops and then we've got Flax, rye, alfalfa, and clover. The flax, the rye, can be swaffed. Canola, I believe, is a swaffable one. Um, then they've all got their straws, and they can all be sold. Everything has a, a spot and a function, and we'll try and cover a little bit of alfalfa as well as we go around. So let's just have a look at what we start with when we come in on New Farmer. And it's very simple. On New Farmer, you come in, and you own a lizard truck. That is it. That is all you have. You don't even own the plot of land that your trailer sits on. This is uh, proper country life. You come in and you own a trailer and a truck. So let's jump in and let's get out and see the map. I shall pop my map on. It just makes it easier. Now, some of you may have joined us for the uh, live map tour with Lancey Boy. Uh, this is going to try and be <laughs> a bit quicker than that and possibly a little bit more concise but we'll go around we'll look at everything and uh, yeah we'll try and take as much of it in i've got the animals turned on for a change as well so we might get some fluid deer i just saw some out of the corner of my eye there so if we just swing in around here this is the first plot of land we brought like i said was more for machinery halls and stuff like that it's all uh, custom machine, uh, custom halls. Everything is uh, sort of what Lancey Boy has built. Either it's come in with the map, or it's uh, available in his uh, mod packs. But his American uh, placeable packs, his American placeables, have just the, the standard that they've gotten to now is just absolutely phenomenal. The beam work in them, the joists, absolutely beautiful. And as we go around, we'll see how. Uh, how he's progressed just in the time that he spent doing this. So we've got the large machine hall here. We've got a water fill point. We've got a fuel point. We have an uh, open shed over there. We have another large hall here. We have a, a grain silo here. There are collectibles. The map, like I say, is uh, very early access. It's still, still being worked on. Parts of it are still being built. 
but it is is to a point where it's good enough to show. Um, so that's why we're doing it. And you'll notice that a few of the collectibles are floating. There might still be a few floating items around. Lance is working through the list of things I've given him as we're testing. So this, again, another large hall with uh, an external shed on it. Then we have a massive hall over here. I'm hoping in time, my UMRV series, I'm going to make enough money that I can buy some of these big sheds and really grow my farm. Uh, so yeah, that is the first the first plot, I'd say, a, a good start. And like I say, it's that's, that's the, the arable, the grain farm on that one. So I think from here, we'll go up to the northwest and we'll check out the sheep farm. We'll check out the production sites and the sawmill up that way. I'll try and stay on the correct side of the road. When I uh, was doing the the live tour with Lancey Boy, I kept going on the wrong side of the road. People did point that out in the in the chat. I've watched that back since. So if anyone who was there who I didn't say hi to watches this, thank you very much for joining us for that live the live stream map tour. It was absolutely great. I had a lot of fun with that. I didn't get to interact with the chat as much as I would have liked, but it was uh, it was good fun to do, and it was nice to see some new faces there. It was nice to see some so-called celebs of the farm sim world as well, and uh, all my regulars, the guys that have been with me from pretty much day dot. Right, so over on our left, got a little bit of a fluter there. The the detail that we've got though. The rivers, the waterways, the forestry, absolutely beautiful. Now, initially, this was set up with the idea of it being a forestry map. And as I said in the, uh, the live stream, I, I felt since I started this that you could go through the, a whole sort of playthrough, hundreds of hours on this map, and not take out a single tree. It's not a forestry map in that sense. Forestry here, forestry is available. It's got that setting of being out in the woods somewhere. And, and that's nice. But it's still very much, I think, a farming map. So this is our sheep farm. We'll start by taking a look at the sheep. I'll just turn me triggers on. Bad preparation is always for me. I always forget to turn my triggers on. So we've got water, manual water fill point here. You can purchase our sheep here. Obviously, I've got the animal uh, extension mod on. The map originally was going to have the, the extra animals built in. From my understanding of it, giants are sort of saying, well, because we've got animal extensions, people can add that to any map they want if they want. So there's no need to put them in. So I want to put some sheep and some goats in. So those that were hopeful of having all the animals just built in anyway that's not a thing but they are there through the animal extension mod and here they be now these are completely custom built for this map animal pens i believe on stream someone corrected us i think they were called uh one pods but these are beautiful i absolutely love them i think they're great this holds 300 sheep. That may get reduced uh, through testing. Uh, it's not a large sheep pasture, but you want to be able to have enough sheep to make you know, a good bit of money off your wool. So that's sort of how that's working. Obviously, there's always the option to add more animal pens if you wish. So lowering it wouldn't be like an impossible thing. So our feed trigger is here. They take, um, I think they take the alfalfa hay as well, but they take the hay and everything. They take, they take the normal, you know, their sheep and goats. They do what they do. So here as well, we have these lovely uh, crop grain dumps on the farm. And uh, we were saying on stream, this is, I, I like this, uh, this mold texture that he started adding to his buildings. It's something he's been doing and experimenting with in Blender to add a little bit more realism and immersion to 
his uh, placeables and his his assets, uh, his, his moss growth, and uh, yeah, I think that's really cool. So we've also got a large shed here. Very nice. Just the detail that goes into it. And he would want me to say a massive thanks, thank you to Shy Wizard for all the help that he has given him over the years in, in doing his blender work, in doing his map making. Um, you can't talk to Lancey Boy without him thanking Shy Wizard himself, so I want to do that for him. So, yeah, massive shout out to Shy Wizard for that. Now, over here we have um, our first alfalfa hay plant. So, this takes alfalfa hay. This won't take the regular. So this is for alfalfa hay. And some farms have two. That'll take one of each. This is another shed that I really enjoy. Beautiful at the front. But I also like the... Uh, see, the brickwork is very nice. Very nice brickwork. Um, just, just the gutter and drainage at the back. As in, it's really nice, the T-bone of that. So we've got more... More storage, more shed space, machine halls, and there is room here. If you want to place down some more stuff, you can you can add to all these all these plots if you wish. Everything, I think pretty much everything, anyway, I want to say pretty much everything, a lot of the, the buildings can be sold, removed once you own the land. And I'm going to make a video trying to demonstrate how these are all customizable as well with colors. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's varying colors of all these. Again, another beautiful custom grain crop storage shed I mean you put machines in there if you wish but this is this is for dumping dumping crops in absolutely beautiful really like it and we also have a fermenting silo here so you can put your your grass silos and stuff in there that'll that'll work and that's the the vertex design fermenting silo that you have to download for the map And then another glorious shed over there on our right. But yeah, that is, that is the uh, the sheep farm as it is. When you oh, you've got the fuel point just around that corner, and just in front of us is a uh, working gas station. That's there. We all know how the gas station works. Now, when you buy the farm plots, they don't come with any land plots. You do have to buy the land up uh, individually by itself. So I think we shot past the sawmill, so we're just going to track back a bit, we're going to see the sawmill. So we've got wood unload here, be triggered to sell there. Management point here. This is um, base model sawmill, obviously Miller's sawmill with a few little changes around it and we've got your wood chip sail point here and it backs off onto the river and again just look how picturesque some of this is now unless you uh, take time to go off and explore the map you probably might not see all of its beauty but there are some spots out here where it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so we'll head a little bit further up we've got some sail points and purchase points and we've got our greenhouses sort of the the allotments of the map the community allotment i guess is what i should call it you can call it whatever you like so here you've just got a nice uh, warehouse area now this one am i right doesn't have a function but as we were discussing on the stream same as the one on the left they're decorative, but you could add a sale point to them. You can do something with them. There's plenty of mods out there that you can make even greater functionality to this map if you so choose. So this is the Better Earth sale point, and here you can buy the things that you use for your fields. You can buy compost. You can buy fertilizer. You can buy lime. You can buy all that thing, all that sort of stuff. Bring a trailer, purchase it, fill it up, nice and easy. That's where that goes. Round the back is your garden centre sale point. And you can sell 
you know, manures and things like that. So you could be a bit cheeky. I think you can buy compost from there and you can sell compost here. So depending on the price, I guess. I think I referred to it as a bit of an alien gym thing. It was something he had in um, Mercury Farms and um, Sussex Farms where you could buy from one point and sell at another. It's just that these ones are right next to each other. But again, really nice. I like that we've got a few extra, a few extra things going on with it. And you can sell your uh, trailer, and you can put a, uh, a sell a, a sleep trigger point at any of the houses. You can choose to live where you want. If you want to do a role play sort of playthrough or a let's play, if you're a content creator, that's the sort of thing you can do, and uh, you know, make it your own. Tell a story. So we have seven, I believe we counted seven greenhouses up here. You buy the land and then you own them. Grow what you want, do as you please. Plenty of collectibles about, we'll just grab one, show you that collectibles work. So yeah, a nice little plot up here. Or you could buy it, you could sell all these and you can do what you want with it. Absolutely your choice. There are no rules. You play as you please. So we'll jump back in, just turn the truck around, and I think we shall, we'll just skip through up here, be cheeky, cause an accident. We'll uh, we'll head down south, and then we'll go across the map, uh, back, sort of, uh, back where we came. Yeah, no we won't, we'll just head straight down south. We're going to go a different route from what I went in the live stream. I'll try and come in a little bit closer, you can see the detail of the map a little bit. Now the map isn't completely flat. I find that this this side of the map, the west side of the map, is a little flatter. And then over to the east, um, beyond the trees, sort of, there's a centre uh, train track and sort of what feels like a partition of trees. On that side you've got a lot more undulations, it dips, it rises. Obviously it's, it's that American feel, so it's, it's not massive hills here. But it's, there's, there's plenty going on. Now this one on the right. This farm doesn't have a great deal of function. But it's one of my favourites. On the map. Besides the cows. I'm just going to park up on the side. So this is another one that you can buy up. And um, it's all yours. But here. You do have a seed purchase point. So you can buy seeds here. Uh, they're, they're universal seeds. Seeds for anything. And then we have this nice, this isn't like a, a, an old, little bit worn down farm. Again, we've got the, the lovely moss texture on the brickwork. The parallaxics work really well with the, the bricks works that we've got on this map. He's done such a good job uh, in customising this. Again, lovely shed. We've got the rust on the roof here, on the tin roof. Great detail in that. Plenty of room. A couple of harvesters, tractors in there. Uh, massive machine shed storage here, or bale storage, however you choose to do it. And around this side. And we've got another nice little shed with a carport on the side. Got a few smaller bits of machinery in there, and the, uh, the hay bale, straw bale shed here. I love this. Again, we've got the wood. It's got the moss growing on it up to the rustic tin roof the moss and moisture around the bottom of the shed again the uh, the brick texture there very nice, I like this good start I found this one <laughs> so let's, uh, let's keep heading on down sorry sir uh, we do have traffic um, if you weren't there, traffic went on the map about an hour before I got it for the live stream. So that was that's that's how that's how early we are still in in the stage of this. I say we it's how early Lancy is in the stage of doing this map. Like we, there's still a lot to go. So you've got a uh, quite a good sized forestry area over there for doing the forestry, and that was something that uh, Lancy was a little bit a bit wary of, a bit, a bit nervous about doing because he'd always done like. The, either the, the big British farming maps or like Stone Valley and um, American Life Farming 
big open American farming. And this has, as you can see here, some small plots, forestry, a lot of trees. It's closed in. Um, I like it. It's, it's another one of those maps that I think is, is quite unique in the American style. It's, it's more detailed than um, Richlands. I, I really like Richlands, and it's, this is a little bit more detailed than that. Or a lot more detailed than that. But a very good map nonetheless. So, over here, we have our dairy productions and sale point. This initially, when um, goats were going to be built into the map, this was going to be a uh, goat milk sale point. So this is probably going to get a little a little change, a rearrangement of what goes on here. Uh, this this uh, this probably won't look like that when the map gets released. And then over here we have the Johnson's Farmers Market, and that is your regular farmers market sale point. And we'll take in um, other productions that are added in, sort of, you know, production-wise end product is what I'm trying to get. At. So there's a lot, a lot of sale points, a lot going on. It's a busy map. I had someone comment on the live stream afterwards, uh, questioning the size of it because it felt so big. And I, I think that's often a good sign of a good 2x map is when it feels like it's so much bigger than uh, than 2x. So here we've got another small farm. Well, I say a small farm, small starter's yard. This one does come with a plot of land that just weaves out the back, uh, with trees mainly. Um, but we've got a grain silo here. And we've got one of my favourite sheds in farm sim. I won't play with the doors too much. Steve's mods, this one's for you. <laughs> I absolutely love this, this door. I just think the animation of it is great. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful shed. Again, we've got the, the moss, the damp rising is you know, up in the corners and stuff like that. It's just the extra detail. Really, really is nice. Right. Shut me door. And again, there's there's a bit of room here that you can expand that. And like I say, this comes with these trees. And then as the tree they don't come with a field, but as the trees go round and up there, you get get that with this plot of land, so there's room to expand and actually build build a full farm on here. Take out a bit of land here. Do as you please with it. Once you get it, it's your game, isn't it? So we'll scooch. Scooch, scooch, scooch. This way. Here we have the carpentry timber time. We have a management trigger around here. The drop off and sale trigger is here. Uh, I've had a good chat with Lance about this. I'm going to try and get that moved either over here so it's easier to get your wood in or move it further back. Sort of extend the fence so you can some turn vehicles around and, and get in there because it's it is tucked away a little bit. It's difficult to get in there. If you're doing the login on the map, you need to be able to get in there and do it. And then uh, production obviously comes out this side. As a player that's getting to test it, I'm trying to offer up insight in uh, what makes it easier, what makes it more fun to play. Uh, because of the great mapper that Lance is, he's not a massive player of the game, he's a 3D modeler, that's what he does. So here we have our grain sale point. Again, very nice. Yeah, I think so, quite a bit of this is um, base games, just been rearranged and done differently. A few, few extra additions. Around the back is where propane uh, will be. It's just not quite set up yet, but that's that's where the propane is going to be. And you got a few uh, decorative sheds and stuff around there as well. So we'll uh, head further along and we'll head into the town. Quaint little town we have. Got some nice tracks that go off and lead you off into the field so you can get to the other the other parts of the map and uh, into the to the wooded areas, bring that out and 
do. Like I say, you've got some small fields, we've got larger fields, we've got regular shaped fields, we've got square fields, whatever takes your fancy. With the extra crops as well, there's, like I said, there's, there's so much to do here, plenty to be done. So here we have our vehicle dealership. Now the barrier on this comes down. Um, on the sign it says 8 till 4. But I believe in game it's actually working 9 till 5. Um, there's something that he's looked into. It doesn't seem to, to change no matter what he does to it. Um, it's changed it and it completely locked out on me. And now it's it's opening at those hours and, and not just and whether that'll that'll get worked around, I don't know. But at the minute that barrier comes down at nine or is down until nine AM. So we're gonna do our usual oh, let's just reset because I did this on stream as well. And we'll purchase a small tractor, a little Zator. So what I always buy no matter the map. There it is, so they spawn here. And again, like with the the carpentry, um, I've asked Lance if there's any way that we can make the spawn area bigger for vehicles, um, because it is, you know, it's still an American farming map. Uh, larger equipment would be used and preferred by a lot of players, and, and even with a small harvester here, you're going to need more room to get the header and the header on the trailer and all that business. So hopefully, the the dealer is going to come back on the plot because the the space around the back isn't really used or even extended into the neighboring field and move the whole thing back giving us more room at the front you never know uh, come time the uh, the spawn point may have moved to the to the back and this might have come right forwards there's there's always these options like i said i'm just I'm trying to help him out as a player um on what feels more comfortable and what feels right. So we've got a nice little bit of uh, decorative shed there again, something you can purchase up and use and, and do as you please with. Now we do have a train line on the map and we do have a train. Uh, we don't have train sail points. Um, the train is there as a decorative feature but it, it's very nice. The, the barriers do work, they do come down, stop traffic all very cool so then we've got here I might just leave my truck and we'll get out and have a little walk about so here we have another grain point here selling grains crops then I think it's around this side gotta remember now honestly I've been around this map so many times that's right, over the road, we have Mr. Farquhar's login service. You drop your logs off around the back, you come in through there, drop your logs off, and then we sell them at the trigger around the front. And this is purely a sale point for your logs, no production, and that's there. Got some more decorative shed space over here, all looks very nice. And again, this is something that we spoke about on stream. He was wondering whether to change it, make a production point here, or do something with it. But having this here allows people to drop uh, a custom point in and, and do something with it. it. It frees that option up for people if they want to add their own thing. You don't have to tailor to everyone in, in every map because we have the mods there. We can do that ourselves as players. So we've got another gas station here. And around the back, we've got an Hydros purchase point. That's here. We have the, the garage cell point, which is a production type cell point. So the juices, breads, cakes, that sort of thing. That's sold there at the garage. Then here, this is cell sorry, This is where we're selling cloths and materials um, those parts of productions go in here and then this is our sell all sale point here so absolutely everything can get dropped into this one so there's a lot of that. a lot about to keep competitive prices as well so you don't 
keep visiting the same cell point all the time, which is something that I'm having a bit of an issue with on one of my Let's Plays at the moment, is that we only have one good sail point that works. Where did I leave my truck? So over here, we've got some custom buildings, the brickwork again. Just for decorative uh, purposes, the brickwork on this is absolutely gorgeous. Again, the parallax, it's the way that it makes the brickwork pop. I think that's great, absolutely love it. Uh, we have, <laughs> get distracted, we have the seed production point here. Uh, this is, you have to buy the plot of land. have to buy the seed production point and if we open it up you can see that we input our crops input fertilizer he's added manure now um I, I said to him um before we streamed i said it'd be great to have manure as this because we can then work towards self-sufficient and uh, and get our seeds out so oh, i'm <laughs> Awesome, thanks for listening, Lance. Um, yeah, so we can put our wheat, wheat in, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, corn, and sorghum. Mix it up with some fertilizer or some manure, and then we've got our seeds ready to grow. So this is pretty much um, a seedling growing facility, and then they're harvesting that, and then you're just using the wheat germ and the germ to uh, produce your seeds, which is very cool. Obviously, we've got our grain mill that we've got, and then we've got our... Uh, uh, greenhouses and the biogas plant which I didn't visit I'll jump to that right at the end I forgot about the uh, the biogas while we we're up that end and also here plenty of room if you want to pop down another little production site or something here there is room again this barrier is on a timer 9 till 5 and all these buildings all custom made really nice really nice buildings um, you drop off everything into this point here so if, if you want to do a late night delivery you can drop it in there and uh, you, you won't get your productions out until till daytime but you can come up at night and and restock that so we'll venture on further don't mind me sir i want to turn right <laughs> And we'll go up the middle. Off to the right, fields. Like I say, you can see this side of the map. If I pan out, a bit more undulations. We've got more slopes, more hills. As if you remember on that side, a little flatter on the other side of the train track. Tracks leading down between everything. And again, we've got some small fields here, and then the northeast of the map, we've got some much larger ones. And our next port of call will be here at the, the cow farm. Now, this is one farm that does come with a field. I guess we could use that to plant, plant our grass and create a meadow. That's what we want to do there. So I'm going to jump out and just move that out of the way. So as we come in, this is our cow barn. We'll have a look at the, the cow in a minute. But we have the American farm silo. The fermenting silo, sorry. And then we have the aggie uh, silo, silo here. And you dump your grains in, store there, and retrieve from an auger. Which is uh, nice and different. We don't get many people building them into maps, so this is good to see. I do like the the grain augers. I'm getting into that. I'm getting into using augers. It's not easy, but I'm getting into it. And then over here, we've got some old shed space. Again, we've got the moss, the rust. We've got our slurry point here. And this is our cow barn. And it's a good one. It is a good one. Got a water point here. Now, the cow barn does come with what looks like two pastures. You have a pasture here. And a 
pasture over here. Now these are grazing ready, so they will they will feed off what what little grass is available to them. They can do that if you're using uh, the grazing mod that is there. We've got this uh, lovely little walkway we'll take a look at in a minute. Double gates to come through. They open on both sides. And uh, this one opens outwards, that one opens outwards. And you've got a little carport shed there as well. But what we'll do, we're going to buy some cows. And we'll get some big ones. Get some of them big ones. And this holds 200. Which I don't think is too many. Whereas maybe the sheep could be seen as way overcrowded. And I think 200 is alright here. As you can see, when we buy them, they spawn in this side. They spawn in that side. And I believe some will eventually come here as well. Got this lovely little barn for them out here as well. Beautiful. Now, one thing that I really liked about this. Feed triggers in here. You put your feed and you put your bedding in here. Was when I was first testing triggers and sail points and things like that and I put some feed in here when I did that the cows will eventually come walking through there's an animation this this one's like sit down but they'll walk through here and into this field and into that shed once there's a good bit of feed in there, I drop some TMR in and they go. So that's a really cool thing. Because I want to show you it, they're not doing it. But trust me, they do. They walk through there and uh, into the shed. These ones are having a little gallop. But again, a beautiful custom cow barn. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really loving this map. From someone that probably a year ago never really touched... American maps other than Stoke Valley um, I'm starting to get into them there's something about them I really enjoy it. and it's not just because I've got access to this map I'm really enjoying the uh, UMRV and uh, let's say Richland's Ohio is another one that I've, I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed because they feel different now over here we have our two uh, size clamps and this one is the you see at the top left alfalfa hay so you can have alfa alfalfa hay silage and this is your regular base game chaff whether these work with maze plus isn't yet known but if you run a maze plus and you want to do the maze plus clamps there's plenty of room on the farm and around this around the map to pop them clamps down and uh, get them going it's not necessarily a map maker's job to make their map work with these things as frustrating as, frustrating as it can be sometimes as a player to have to have all the extra bits or find out the hard way. I'm letting you know now. Place down your own clamp. So we've got another beautiful shed in here. Lights work. Pretty much every all of Lancer's buildings have lights in. They'll either be automatic with the time or you just walk in. A lot of them you just walk in and you can turn your lights on and off. You'll see it on my screen over at the top left hand corner. And that one's there. So then down here is another building that I think is beautiful. Uh, it's not yet utilised. Initially, this was going to be where the cars were. This was going to be a calf shed, which is now changing more into a machinery shed because of um, not being able to build calves into the map and using the uh, animal or extended animals mod this is now going to become something different it may change a little bit um the lights need to be worked on in here this is still a, a wip on this bit but i love how he's how he's got the mesh going and the grating air and light through i say because it was supposed to be a, a cattle barn that's why it's like that and all of these buildings that are the same color all the green ones you can sell them all and in the game they are there to be placed and it has the varying color options available on, on pretty much all of them. Like I say, I'll do a separate video showing how they all work. Uh, milk here. I'm not sure if he's fixed or changed this yet. Lancey's um, 
roller doors only open from one side. Because he puts them on his sheds, mainly on his sheds with a side door. So this door does open, it opens from this side, because people will come back and say the door don't work, it does work. Uh, but your milk is collected from here anyway. Your, your milk in part is there, but you collect it from outside. Um, he's probably going to put an extra trigger on there anyway, uh, so you can open it from both sides. But if he doesn't, then you'll know that you need to go inside to open it if you wish to go in there. And I believe you muck out. I've, I've, I've yet to do a lot of testing with the cows. I'm doing a lot of field work at the minute. But I believe you can come in here and you can muck out cows. Cow will spawn muck inside. That's where that is. So let's jump back to my truck. Because it's a bit of walk. And that's the beautiful cow farm. Very nice. So then we've got a few more locales around on the right hand side, on the east. And if I pan out before we hit trees, we see we've got some larger fields coming up. For those that likes to do a bit of larger farming, mind me traffic. So it's not all small. And, you know, you take out the trees, do a bit, bit of logging, take out the trees, and you can merge it all together and, and make, you know, as big a field as you like. It has that to it. It's not um, a, a rigid map with uh, fence borders and that. All fences as well. Fences can be deleted and sold. And you can completely, <laughs> pretty much completely blank map it if you wish. If that's what you do, then you can do that. Uh, we have a uh, fuel point here some more of these lovely uh, crop dumps all very nice I, do, I just I just like that they've got that aging look to them this is the pig farm by the way we'll look at the pigs in a second uh, another big shed here and on stream he was con to ask whether or not we should add or we he should add anything else to this farm or, or just the map in general if it was missing anything and it's sort of a, a, a agreed on that, that chickens would be a good addition. So hopefully chickens are going to come. Because we don't have chickens yet. We've got another fermenting silo here. And a large machine hall here. And round the back here, I believe this is an alfalfa. A silage clamp here. If you want more of the regular ones, you can place them as well yourself. But down this track here, we were talking on stream. And... There is an area, and this site is sort of earmarked for, oh, he's put it in. What a legend. He sent me this copy of the map last night after doing some different things. What an absolute legend. We've got chickens. There it is, people. What a surprise. I did not expect to see it. 30 chickens. Um... Should we get some some babbies as well? Look at that. That is a treat for me. I'm working on the testing all the plots on the other side of the map. I didn't know he'd added them. Open free range chickens. Ask and you shall get. Look at that. Brilliant. So, feed in there. Egg spawn there. I'm glad I came down and had a look. I was just going to say there's a spot down there. We came down and had a look. We've got chickens. That's marvellous. A little well. That's new. Uh, this shed is... Uh, it doesn't open. This is just a decorative shed. But look at that. Excellent. Thanks, Lance. Uh, so, yeah. Ask and you shall receive. So, we'll go and have a look at the pigs. Oh, I'm well chuffed with that. I'm glad we've got chickens. Chickens are such a good money maker. And to have them as sort of open air free range, it just suits the map. It suits this area got your pigs, got your chickens. Um, if you're doing something like Maze Plus, they eat pretty much the same crop. If not, then they still eat the same crop. You just feed them as you would. So, we've got chick uh, pigs. We'll buy a few. And this holds 200. And 
and we'll open it up. We'll take our feed in with us. And the oh, chicken feed goes in the feed silo. Self explanatory, I know. And then once in there, it is automatically fed to the feeding trough. That holds quite a good capacity, so it only shows a tiny little bit what we, what we put in there, but that's the feeding troughs. That's where they get fed. Uh, you put your straw down in the bedding areas. Uh, oh, Slurry. Slurry was here. He's moved it, so we'll have a little look. Slurry has moved here. There we go. It was in between. It was constantly being updated. Uh, brilliant. So, they, But yep, that's where you get your slurry from. You muck out your pigs. And again, really nice custom um, quam pods. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Just what they're called, quam pods. And again, the pigs are obviously very different from the sheep. I love that it's just built with pallets. That's what you got. You build it with pallets. Little piglets. Little pork there. And that's your pig farm. Plenty going on here. I forget, I've got to hit this one first. This one will come after. And I think, other than... Oh, no, we've got bits over there. For the amount of hours I've spent here so far, I should be able to remember where everything is. It's terrible. So we go to our left. Yeah, there's, from here you can see the larger fields. Some bigger ones out there. And obviously you can see them on the map. One and two, they are big fields. 42, big fields. 49, 47. Nice healthy sized fields. Even 48 is a good sized field. Now here we have another one of the beautiful custom builds. And this works as your bale sell point. And this will take all bales, all straws from custom crops and base game crops all that can all be sold here. Again, just the, the way the parallaxics work to uh, make that pop and give it that 3D. And then round the back is the American crop sell point. And unless he's added them in already, I haven't checked. This is currently the only point to sell your flax and your rye. But he's going to look to work them into more sell points or or add more sell points that will uh, sell those crops so that you're not only bringing them to one spot. And then around here we have uh, a much more detailed and um, finished livestock market. We've got some parked cars now. Uh, around the back is where we go. Purchase our animals and we can drop them off wherever we like. Bring a trailer up, collect them yourselves, or you can do as we've done and order them at the pens, however you play is your way. So I think now we can jump to the BGA. And here we are, the BGA. Again, it has a timed barrier on it, which is probably going to be 9 till 5. But scales doesn't register me. That one's just too heavy. So we've got a slurry digestate point there. We have a... This is bioethanol. And hydros. Another dump point there for your slurry. We've got a, a largish clamp here. And then you have... I believe this is your regular sell point. So if you just want to sell into the BGA, that's the one. And if you want to do it as a production point, purchase and manage there. And then tip in here. So 
it's quite a nice BGA. Now I haven't tried it out. I'll, I'll test this and I'll make sure that that distance isn't too far. Because that looks that looks quite a distance. This one is much closer. So we'll we'll do some testing with these and see how they work. But that's it. That's that's the BGA. And uh, yeah, there's plenty of forestry about. Lots to be doing here. Lots of fun to have. Um, you know, I'm enjoying testing it, but testing it is not playing it. I cannot wait to be able to just play this and, and have some regular fun on it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this map tour. Once the map is finished and it is set for a release, I will do an updated map tour, show you everything that has changed. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.